हेलो फ्रेंड्स मैं से गौरव जगदीश पाठक एंड वी हैव सीन न्यू टॉपिक इन इंजीनियरिंग थर्मोडायनामिक्स टुडे वी सी द नेचर ऑफ रॉड्स सो फ्रेंड्स वाइल जनरेशन ऑफ स्टीम इनटू द बॉयलर्स द रॉड्स प्लेस अ वाइटल रोल एंड देन अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर नेचर द रॉड्स आर मेनली टू टाइप्स दैट इज natural rods and artificial rods when the fuel burns into the furnace of the boiler with the circulation of air then such kind of rods are named as natural rods while as when the air is forced by means of fan and the rod is called artificial rod now what are the heat sources for particular rods are combustion of solid liquid or gaseous fuel electrical and nuclear energy and hot waste gases from other chemical reaction by means of all these we can continue the process of combustion for steam generation the heat generated from all these processes can be utilized for the heating of water or heating of the tubes in under which the water can be circulated into the steam generator now what kind of fluid for use for particular boilers are into the steam boilers it uses water as a fluid while as in the mercury boilers they can use a mercury as the fluid other boilers may use the special chemicals as a fluid for their process what what is the material used for manufacturing of shell into the particular boiler that it continuously suffer from the various stresses as the pressure temperature and the walls of the particular boilers are undergoes into the sustain all these properties as well as to provide a safeguard against these stresses the material have cast iron steel and copper stainless steel are the somewhat materials along which the boilers are manufactured there are various main parts into the boilers which are the first one is the shell the shell is the main container usually of cylindrical shape which contains the water and steam the furnace or which in chamber which combustion of fuel takes place and this may be a grate to burn coal or burner to atomize and burn the liquid fuel water flow path it is the path followed by the water in the boiler particularly in the water tube boiler during the process of absorption of heat and conversion into the steam water should be free from dissolved material in order to reduce the scaling of heating surface the glass gas flow path and the path flow followed by the gases to transfer the heat to the water boiler efficiently mainly depends upon gas flow path the steam path it is the most of the boilers steam is taken out preferably at the top of the shell and to avoid the water particles being carried out with the steam the steam separators are employed for the particular purpose mounting and accessories we have already seen into the uh, videos before we have taking lectures and focus on that point mountings are the walls and gas yeah walls and gauges necessary for the safety boilers for example water level indicator safety walls and fusible plugs are some mountings while as the accessories are devices which are attached to the boiler to improve the performance of the boiler for example air purifier economizer and superheater are the examples for the particular accessories now we see fire tube boiler in front of your screen the pictorial view of fire tube boiler is shown in which the parts tubes and chimney 
location the cross sectional area shown and at the top head the crown shape area in which it contains the high pressure high temperature steam into the coherent boiler it is simply a vertical and multi tube small capacity boiler which is compact and required minimum flow area which is the essential requirement of a good boiler and it it have the evaporative capacity range from 150 to 3000 kg per hour while working pressure is up to 20 bar the hemispherical crown which gives the maximum strength to withdraw the steam pressure inside the boiler outer diameter of the tubes must be 6.25 cm approximately any type of fuel can be used for combustion and the manhole at the top of the crown of the shell is provided for cleaning it gives about 70% of thermal efficiency with the coal firing and 70% with the heat in front of your screen you can show see the langshire boiler and the various parts of langshire boilers the langshire boilers is internally fired horizontally and natural draft natural circulation type boiler the diameter of the tubes is generally 0.4 times of the diameter of the shell and each fluid tubes has to its own furnace with the grid about 2 meter length the dumpers are placed in the path of the flue gases to regulate the gas and its flow opening are made into the boiler for inspection purpose the capacity of the langshire boiler is it is made to withstand the working pressure of 20 bars and its evaporative capacity is about 8000 kg per hour the shell size ranges from 2 meter to 6 meter length and 3 meter diameter to 10 meter length the bottom of the shell is heated first and then it is slides widely used of sugar mills chemical plants and power system it is maintenance is quite easy load fluctuations can be easily meet due to the large reserve capacity in front of your screen you can see the locomotive boiler and the inter- initially fired horizontally multi tube and natural circulation type boiler and it have artificial draughts fire tube type it can be easily portable from one side to another the various technical specification you can see into the locomotive boiler that is the length size of heater tube working pressure size of number of fire tube and heating surface of the great area now what are the applications of locomotive boiler that is its main requirements of this boiler is that it should be produce the steam at the very high rate therefore this type of boiler required a large amount of heating surface and large great area the locomotive boilers is so designed that it's capable of meeting the sudden and fluctuating demand of the steam which may be imposed due to variation into the power and speed it is the free from brick works special foundation of chimney this reduces the cost of installation this type of of locomotive boiler is very compact in design it uses the railway road rollers etc also also used in the agriculture field works and saw mills to plants of stationary power services where the semi portability is desired locomotive boilers having some advantages that is the large rate of evaporation freedom from brick works and chimney for special foundation and reasonable low cost at compact to make ideal for the portable while as it have some hot disadvantages also it's incapable to meet the very high overload because the danger of being damaged 
Also, maximum steam pressure is limited up to 20 bar only and accumulation of mud particles into the water causes scale formation into the locomotive boiler. Now, Babcock and Wilcox boilers are come all into the, into the water tube boilers and Babcock and Wilcox boiler construction we can see that is it consists of welded steel high pressure drum mounted at the top while a drum is concerned with uptake and header also down to header. Water tubes connected to the headers are inclined at 15 degrees to horizontal and mud box which is collected to sedimentation into the water. In Babcock and Wilcox boiler, superheater tubes are used are which enhance the superheated steam while as the vents are provided for safety walls, pressure gauge and water level indicator. Its evaporating capacity range from 2000 to 4000 kg per hour while as operative pressure range from 11.5 to 17.5 par. Now, the major difference between water tube and fire tube boiler is in front of you in your screen. That are, in water tube boilers, water passes through the water tubes while the steam capacity of these kind of boilers is low. The complexity of design requires quick examination by the skilled hands and high operating pressure is generated into water tube boilers while the evaporation rate ranges from 20,000 to 50,000 kg per hour. The low water to the steam ratio is bigger at size and suitable for large power plants. The transportation and installation is difficult due to the large size of shell. Extremely, the fixed boiler finance, which can be varied. While as compared to water tube boiler, in the fire tube boilers, hot gases passes through the fuels, while as simple and rigid construction hence greater into the reliability and low generation cost. Low pressure ranges and evaporation range from 9000 kg per hour. Low adding surface area and large water to the extension ratio similar in size, used only for small power plants. These are the some points which are differentiate the fire tube and water tube boiler. The new topic into the engineering thermodynamics we will see into another video. Thank you friends. Thank you very much.